Okay, so now I'm gonna show you uh, how you can edit an individual contact or take actions on an individual contact. So if I look at one of my lists here and find a contact, let's click on Mark's contact. Uh, you'll see his tab opens up. You can actually uh, page through the contacts within a list with these left and right arrows. But uh, let's stick to Mark. Uh, and then the different tabs on this page will show you uh, the, the number of correspondence you've had with that contact, their individual fields. You can go through and edit these things here. You can see the current time for Mark is 3.04 a.m. Um, and uh, you can add more data here. Now if you had multiple Twilio lines in your account, uh, and for instance maybe you have one in the state of Massachusetts and one in Wyoming, and you only want to correspond with Mark from your Massachusetts line, you could choose from the different phone lines here. Of course, we only have one phone number configured at the moment, so there's not much to show there. And likewise, you'll see in a later video that you can have multiple users on a single account here of, this, of the software. And so if you wanted to have agents or sub-users, uh, you could assign Mark to just one of those, but we haven't got any of those at the moment, so you don't, you don't have to be able to use that. Um, but that's the summary tab. Over on the inbox, you can see the correspondence that uh, you have back and forth with Mark. And at the moment, there isn't anything here. Notes, you do see a note. I added one of those a moment ago. But these are uh, private, just for you. If I wanted to add another one here, um, Mark is um, a potential new client. I don't know. You can put little notes uh, so that you and your team can coordinate. Lists are great because if you want to segment all your contacts, uh, of course, uh, you've got to use lists. And right here on this screen, you can uh, send this individual contact, Mark Twain bot, to a different list. So I've gone ahead and created a second list called Second List. And maybe I'm going to add Mark to that list as well. So now this contact appears on both of these lists. Uh, of course, I could also delete him from second list and now he's back to being only on the training demo list and um, if I put him on the second one again you can also use these little arrows here uh, to move him from just one to another there we are training demo campaigns are when you pre-schedule out a whole sequence of, of actions so for instance if you wanted to um, send an SMS message to a contact on day one and then follow that up with a phone call uh, several hours later on day one and then perhaps on day two you want to send an email message and on day six you want to send maybe a ringless voicemail to, to Mark's voice box you know you could do that uh, on a, I'll show you in a later video by setting up a campaign but on this tab, you would be able to see any campaigns that Mark has been added to, and you can see the progress, what step of that campaign he's been in. Likewise, scheduler. I've uh, scheduled an outgoing SMS message to Mark, but maybe I want to schedule a call to Mark. Uh, I can either upload a, a pre-recorded you know, wave audio file if I've got one, uh, or select from one of my templates. You'll see that in a later video that you can create reusable templates of audio. Uh, again, you'll see in a later video IVRs, so if you wanted to have an outgoing message where you give options, press 1 to be connected with service, press 2 to be connected with um, sales, press 3 to be removed from our list, so that's a, an example of an IVR and you could um, select one of those as an outgoing. Or you can record right here in the browser. Hey, I was just touching base, wanted to see how it's going, and uh, if you had any further questions on the training. All right, give me a call back when you get the chance. And then you can see that uh, audio was recorded right here. Hey, I was just touching base, wanted to see how it's going, and uh, if you had any further questions on the training. All right, give me a call back when you get the chance. Uh, here is where you could uh, choose from among your different Twilio lines which one you want to use for this scheduled call course I have only one configured at the moment and then naturally you want to be able to choose the date let's do this one on the 29th at 307 p.m. great and I'm going to create that follow-up and now you can either see it in calendar view or if I switch to list view you'd be able to see that uh, he's going to get on the 14th an SMS message 
and on the 29th this uh, this audio recording and let me show you how you schedule an SMS because you didn't see that yet again you can choose the phone number you're sending it from uh, you'll see in later video that you can create reusable templates if this is something you're frequently sending um, obviously you want to set a, a date so let's do this one on the 20th again I like to do not three in the morning and uh, you could type in whatever that that scheduled SMS is going to be and then you can use any of these um, uh, pre-existing they're sort of like uh, placeholders there you go so hope all is well and it would insert this contacts first name which we know to be mark and again on list mode it would show up here touching baser again oh oh better delete that because I mistyped but you get the idea all right so um, oh most importantly if I go back to the summary of marks information and we get this out of our way uh, I can scroll down to the bottom and you'll see at the bottom if I want to send them an SMS right now if I just want to manually send a message to mark I can choose the phone number I'm going to send it from hey mark you up actually let's change that to, to F name so that you can see it in action and these merge fields work all right, so it's uh, 3 a.m. Mark's time, so I'll send that to uh, to Mark. All right, now when I click on him, uh, we can actually see in the inbox the example of the the correspondence, and you see how it substituted his first name, Mark, for the merge field that I had in there, F name. Uh, I actually happen to have on a different screen um, that number, and I can send a a message right on back. So let's go and say, uh, typing on my phone here. It's just going to send me a message. And if I refresh this page, you'll see Mark's reply. And, oops, jumping into the inbox. There you go. We sent Mark you up, and Mark replied with a yes from that other phone number. All right, so uh, likewise, you could do the same thing with a call. Um, could select this and do a browser dial right here from the phone. It takes a couple seconds to connect. And if Mark were to answer, which you won't, because I can only talk on one line at once, you're going to get voicemail. So I'm going to hang that phone up. Uh, call this position. I'll show you that in a later video. But over here in the inbox, you'll now see that there is I'll have to refresh the page on Mark's record um, our outgoing message his incoming reply and then here's the outgoing phone call that didn't actually connect Wow Inception. Okay, so that's uh, actions that you can take from an individual contact and schedule right here from the contact.